Hi and welcome to this Adobe Express lesson all about volcanoes and today we're going to make a volcano fact file with our top five facts which give some information about what volcanoes are and how they're formed. So to start with I'm going to press the plus in the top left and I'm going to go down to web page and I can start by adding a title and a subtitle to my fact file. Now you can see here it's asking me to add a photo behind my title so I'm just going to go for a normal photo and in the search box I'm just going to click it and I'm going to type in volcano and these are all Adobe stock images so they're free to use. I'm going to go for this one I think that looks good as a cover image and we can see at the bottom it says scroll to start writing your story so I'm just going to scroll down and we can see there's an add symbol here. So if I press the add symbol, we can add some type of content into our fact file now. And today we're gonna to be looking at using split layouts to present our five key facts about volcanoes. So I'm just gonna click on split layout. As you can see, the page is split into two. So on the left, we can add an image and on the right, we can add our key facts about volcanoes. So I'm gonna start with my key fact. So I'm gonna press the plus and I'm gonna add some text. And I'm just gonna give a simple definition of what a volcano is. There we go, so a volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust where lava, magma, is squeezed out onto the Earth's surface. So you probably know that um, magma, once it reaches the surface of the Earth, that's when we call it lava. And when it's inside the Earth, it's called magma. So now this is my main fact. I'm also going to add a little bit of extra information as well. So I'm going to press the plus again and press text. So there we go, I've added a bit of extra information. Uh, along with lava, volcanoes also release gases, steam, and hot volcanic rock, which is also known as tephra. So I'm just gonna click on my main fact, and I want this to be a different, slightly different formatting. So I could go for header one or header two, but I'm actually gonna go for this quote format. Uh, so this is my main fact, and then underneath, this is a bit of extra information I've added. Now I wanna add an image on the left-hand side. Uh, hopefully an image that I think goes with the fact that I've got on the other side of the page. So I'm going to go to add your image. We can see that volcanoes, uh, the results are still being displayed over here. So I want to choose an image that shows the opening in the Earth's surface. I think this is quite a good one. We're also getting some of those gases, some of that steam and some of that uh, spewing volcanic rock coming out. So I think that's quite a good image. Now, what we might also want to do um, is to add a little tiny inset image. So an inset image is a smaller image that will go with the text, a bit like you might have in a newspaper. So I'm just going to press the little plus that's between my two facts here. Press the plus and I'm going to go to photo. Now, uh, because I'm talking about other things that are released by a volcano, it might be good. For example, um, there's one here. This is, this is an image of some volcanic rock, also known as tephra. Uh, and I can also add a caption, so I'm just going to write in Tephra there. Super. So I've got my main fact, I've got a little inset image, and then I've got a bit of extra information. So this is my first fact in my fact file. So I'm going to scroll down now, and I'm going to press the plus at the bottom of the page, and I'm going to go for a split layout again. This time you'll notice that the image will be on the right-hand side now, and the text will be on the left. You can swap that over with the button in the middle if you'd like. I'm going to keep it like this. So I'm going to start by putting in my second fact from my fact file. So in our first fact, we've mentioned the Earth's crust. So I think for the second fact, it'd be really good to talk about the different layers of the Earth. So I'm just going to press the plus here and I'm going to add text. So there we go. The Earth is made up of three main layers. Now I'm just going to add another bit of text now. So I'm going to go to add text and here I'm going to write the three layers, but I'm actually going to start by just writing one of them. Now what I want to do is uh, I'm just going to click on this first one, crust, uh, which is at the top of the earth, which is like the surface of the earth. Um, so I've clicked on this where it says crust and uh, I'm going to select bullet points. So now if I put my little cursor at the end of this sentence and press the enter key, we can see it automatically creates another bullet point. So there we go, we've put our three main layers of the earth, the crust, which is at the top of the earth, the mantle, which is in the middle part of the earth, and then the core, which is in the center. You have the inner core and the outer core. So for this one, um, we'd like to add another inset image here. So if I go to add photo, uh, I mean, if we type in earth layers, now you can see we don't really get the kind of diagram image in Adobe Stock that we might want. So for this one, I'm actually gonna show you how to get a photo uh, from a website save it in your downloads folder and then upload it into your work um, and this is just a really good key skill that you can use um, in other pieces of work that you do using a computer 
So for my image, I want to make sure it's copyright free. So I'm going to try and search on Wikimedia Commons and see what I can find. So I'm going to go to the search bar in the top right and I'm going to type in Earth Layers. Now here we go, it's given me some good diagrams to choose from. So I might go for this first one here. So what I want to do if I'm on a computer um, is to right click on the image and I'm going to press save image as. If you're on a tablet, you can hold your finger on the image. So if I go to save image as, the first thing I always do is make sure I'm saving it in the right folder. And I think the best place is the downloads folder. So I'm going to press downloads and I'm going to press save. And we can see in the top right, it's saved it into our downloads folder. So now if I go back to my work, uh, I'm going to press the plus just in the middle of my text here. And I'm going to go to photo. Now instead of searching for photos, I'm actually going to upload one from my device. Uh, and you'll remember we've saved it in our downloads folder. So always remember where you've saved your image. So I'm going to press upload from your device. I can see I'm in my downloads folder or I can click it here. This is the image we want. So I'm going to select the image and press open. And there we go. We could add a caption. We could call it layers of the earth. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good. Now we need a main image on the right. For this one, I'm just happy with an image of earth. So I'm going to go to add your image and I'm just going to search for a photo and I'm just going to type in earth. Here we go. I think this one looks pretty good. Brilliant. So now I've got my header with my title, subtitle and my image. I've got my first fact about volcanoes, which is just a simple definition. Uh, my second fact, which is going into some of the geographical knowledge about the layers of the earth. And now I'll go on, press the plus at the bottom, choose split layout, and I'll add a further three facts. So we'll end up with five key facts all about volcanoes. So there we go. I've added my five key facts now. Um, what I'm going to do is actually in the top right, I can choose a theme. So if I click themes, I can go through and choose a theme that I think goes with this particular topic. So there we go. I've chosen Wesley. I think that looks like a pretty nice theme. What I'm going to do now is just check my work. I'm going to go into the top right and I'm going to press present. So now I'm just going to use my right arrow key, slide through my presentation and look at my five key facts. So there's my first one. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust. I've got an image of tephra there, which is volcanic rock. I've then talked about the three main layers of the Earth, the crust, mantle and the core. And I've added that inset image, which I've got from another website. And I just saved that into my downloads folder. Um, here we go. I've got a bit of information about uh, how volcanoes usually occur at tectonic plate boundaries. Again, I've used a little inset image of the tectonic plate boundaries, which I got from Wikimedia Commons. And I've talked a bit about magma and finally about how the mountain shape of a volcano is formed. So there's my five key facts. I'm just going to press the little cross in the top right to come out of the presentation mode. Now I'm done. I'm just going to press share. I could share this straight to Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams. For now, I'm just going to press publish to web. And what this will do, I can give it a title here, press create link. It's going to publish my project and it will give me a link that I can copy that link and share it wherever or open it in a web browser. So here we go. It said your link is ready to share. So there's my link uh, with the web address. I'm going to press copy. I'm just going to open a new tab in my web browser and I'm just going to paste that link into there and it will show my Volcanoes fact file with my five key facts. So there you go, that's how you make a fact file about volcanoes with five key facts about volcanoes, what they are and how they're formed. And it's your turn now to go and make one of your own.